guys, I'm back on the second part of this lecture. Um, how much is healthcare going to cost you in Malaysia? Yeah, uh, private hospital are more expensive than public hospital, but by how much more? So, for example, outpatient visit to the private hospital will cost you around thirty ringgit plus plus. Public hospital is a nominal fee of one ringgit. Inpatient doctor fee. That will be around, that is not specialist, yeah? that will be around 30 ringgit to 50 ringgit. However, in public hospital, it will cost you only 5 to 10 ringgit. So, inpatient rooms deposit. In a private, the moment you are awarded, you need to pay 2,000. But public hospital, you can only pay 15 to 35 only. So, that's not really cheap. And you can see the trend of total health expenditure in Malaysia from 1997 to 2013. Uh, has been in the increasing uh, trend. You can say uh, in 1997 it's upward uh, trend. It's going to go up and even in today's uh, 2020 I believe it's much higher. And as well as the regional country's total health expenditure in 2014. Um, this is data from World Bank and unfortunately we do not have the latest data yet. So next major medical. Due to high medical costs, the insurance company have designed a medical and health policy termed as major medical insurance. This policies covers this policy cover the heavy duty bills of hospital administration and administration related medical and treatment charges on uh, insured. So the benefits which includes high annual limit, extended lifetime limit, inpatient hospital services or enhancement to the existing hospital and surgical benefit, higher limits for outpatient services, for example, chemotherapy and kidney and dialysis, physician services, for example, additional visit per day, outpatient prescription drugs. Uh, these, these are the benefit that you have uh, for major medical. Long-term healthcare, this is the last part of it. It refers to the healthcare services provided by nursing home for the elderly with convenient access to in-house doctors, nurses and all the necessary healthcare services. The Total and Permanent Disability Insurance, TPD, provides replacement income for the insured against the devastating financial impact of a TPD such as that he or she will not able to work ever again. Research proof that 10% of people who have been disabled for 90 days or more will probably be disabled for 5 or more years. Yeah? So, SOCSO, uh, Social Organizational Security was established by the government in 1971 under the Ministry of Human Resources, offered two schemes. Firstly, Employment Injury Scheme. Secondly, Invalidity Schemes. So, employer contributes 1.25% from for the employment injury scheme and 0.5% for invalidity schemes. Employee only contributes 0 0.5 for the invalidity schemes. So the two key terms in relation to total permanent and disability insurance are any occupation, meaning to say inability of the insured to return to any sort of occupation ever again and the insured has not performed any sort of work that generates income for six consecutive months after the accident. Secondly, suited of occupation. In, that is the ability of the insured to return to the occupation that he or she used to perform prior to the disability, which is based on the insured's training, experience and expertise. Next, a group insurance, employees compensation program. This is an employer funded life insurance benefit for all its employee and the family. This include debt benefit, disability benefit and medical and clinical benefit. The difference between group insurance and individual insurance are as follows. First is by the type of benefit. Number one, numbers of policies. Under group insurance, only one master policy contract will be issued for the organization. The employer is the owner of this master policy and the insured is every employee. The human resource department will usually update the insurer with the current listing of all employees who have joined and left the organization. Meanwhile, individual insurance are 
every individual policy holder will be issued a separate policy contract. The insured is each individual policy holders and the owner of the policy is usually the insured or anyone else who has insurable interest on the life of the insured. That is numbers of policy. On second benefit is premium. On group insurance, premiums are generally lower compared to individual premiums due to the pooling of risk of a group of employees making a purchase together. Remember, law of the large number. And for insurance, individual insurance, generally higher vis a vis to group insurance. The types of benefit and amounts of limits are generally higher than group plans. Thirdly, insurability. For group insurance, group selections of risk and not individual selection is used and underwriting is based on the whole group. Therefore, it is easier for an individual to obtain cover under group insurance. Meanwhile, individual insurance, every applicant has to declare their health condition and detailed health story, history as of the time of application. And the underwriting processes is based on each individual health condition. Then number four, past claim experience. For group insurance, previous claim experience of organization as a whole is a major factor in determining the premium and the loading factor, if there is any. Meanwhile, for individual insurance, previous claim experience by individual policyholder does not really affect the underwriting process. Every applicant has to declare whether he or she has any pre-existing conditions at the time of application. So now is the category of group insurance. Group insurance can be divided into five categories. First is group term life, group accidental accidental death and dismemberment, group medical and health and clinical, group dental and other benefit depending on the particular organization. So these are the description. I believe you can read all of the descriptions on your own. Uh, the type of group benefit uh, for each group, yeah? all the five groups. Oh, I think that's all uh, for, for this week's uh, lecture. Um, I hope um, to see you again soon and stay safe. And there will be an exercise uh, later will be given please check on the exercise do the exercise the due date for submission is 14th of april um, all the best to you guys hope to see you soon bye